All right, let's change the subject here. Talk about love. When we find that special someone, we share a lot about ourselves, from our goals to our fears, even the uncomfortable stuff. But when it comes to our money, that's not always the case. We've got some tips to help you avoid financial cheating so you're not left asking, where's the money? We found people would rather talk about their weight, their health, their religious views, their political views. They'd rather talk about almost anything else than credit card debt. Honesty is the foundation of every great relationship. But one thing we may not always be truthful about with our partners and spouses are money. According to Bankrate, 39% of Americans who live with their sweetie have committed some form of financial infidelity. Bankrate says that includes things like having secret bank accounts, hiding debt, or even not being honest with your partner about how much money you actually have. The most common example is secret spending, followed closely by secret debt. Uh, we also found a good number of people have secret credit cards and secret bank accounts. The biggest explanation is that people want more privacy and independence about their finances. And while I understand that goal, I don't think secrets should be part of it. When it comes to having separate finances and serious relationships, the experts say that's okay, but you have to be transparent. People like to have their own pot of money that they can use for hobbies and nights out with friends and gifts. You know, they don't want their spouse looking over their shoulder on everything. But I also think you need to be clear about the parameters. If you're financially cheating, there are ways to get back on track. The fix here is communication. So maybe schedule a money date with your spouse, maybe keep it quick and informal at first and just check in on the routine items, but also the bigger picture goals.